Now next mediator is arachidonic acid. So we'll see arachidonic acid metabolism. See all our cells are made up of phospholipids, right? Phospholipids. Phospholipids will be converted to arachidonic acid by the help of an enzyme called phospholipase A2. Now this arachidonic acid can follow two pathways. Cox or LOX. Cox means cyclooxygenase, LOX means lipooxygenase. Cox produces prostaglandin prostacycline and thromboxin. LOX produces leukotrienes and lipoxin. Remember, prostaglandin and prostacycline they causes vasodilation and they hate they hate platelets. But thromboxane they cause vasoconstriction and they love platelets. They adhere platelets. Leukotrienes they are bronchoconstrictor. They will cause bronchoconstriction. Now, if we are talking about pharmacology, we have the non-selective, non-selective NSAIDs, non-zero anti-inflammatory drugs. They are blocking our cox, normal cox. They are blocking the cyclooxygenase pathway. The drug include indomethacin, our diclofenac, aclofenac. Huh? Or the drug you take, the naproxen. So this will block the normal cyclooxygen pathway. So normally we need this. So if you block this, what is happening? They will cause a side effect, gastric ulcer or gastritis. Gastritis can cause and will cause nephrotoxicity too. Nephrotoxicity. Now so we develop a new drug to reduce this side effect because we only inhibit COX-2. COX-2 will be the pathology new pathway will be formed. So we only want to inhibit the pathological and we don't want to inhibit the normal one. So we specially COX-2 inhibitors we found out. So they are the cox drug or the cox like Celicoxib, Raficoxib or cox -sip. This comes under, they are inhibiting COX-2, specifically COX-2. Later we found out a COX-3 inhibitor too, COX-3. What is a COX-3 inhibitor you know? That is our paracetamol. Paracetamol. Remember. So these are the media I just added here. Okay. And if you want to study about LOX inhibitor, we have a drug called Ziluton. They will inhibit the LOX. And if you want to inhibit leukotrienes antagonist, they will block leukotrienes receptor. Like Morphil. Sorry. Zafir Lucast. Zafir Lucast, then we have Mondi Lucast, these all are leukotrine antagonist. Clear? So these are the uh, mediators of inflammation I just added. And if you are giving, if these are not treated, these are, see I forgot to found the, so this is also having some uh, uh, side effect, this will cause cardiotoxicity, coccyx, cardiotoxicity. So if you can't treat a patient with any of these drugs, we'll go with the last option is what? We'll give steroids. What steroids are doing? Steroids block this enzyme. Steroids. Like prednisolone. Prednisolone. Hydrocortisone. So they are blocking the enzymes. The whole pathway is blocked. The steroids. Okay? Now. So this we are talking about acute inflammation. Now. If you doesn't treat acute inflammation, if you doesn't treat acute inflammation, they will convert to what? They will become chronic. If you don't treat acute, they will become acute become what? Chronic. Acute inflammation will become chronic. Very severe case. Right. So if or if acute inflammation is not untreated, left untreated, it can change, it can completely heal. Complete healing. But there will be no full regeneration. Ok. 
Okay, never. Or healing with the scarring. Or they will become what? Chronic. Or they change to ascites. Some complications of what? Acute inflammation. Ascites or abscess. Ascites or abscess formation takes place. So they will turn to the chronic. So now we will study, now you understand how acute inflammations are mediated. Now we will study about chronic inflammation.